Okay, I'm going to try and um, show you where I got up to with my book I was putting together for school for the sketchbook project. It was supposed to be something that was, um, and the cat's going to walk all over it, um, it was supposed to be something that kind of evolved and was not necessarily made out of an ordinary sketchbook. So I started off by um, just compiling a bunch of stuff that I'd drawn and then I decided to bind it into some kind of a, you know, folio. And I found a mailing bag, um, just plastic. And just by chance, duct tape matches it exactly. So as it grew, I was able to make it bigger to fit. You'll see what I mean when I go inside. <sighs> Excuse me, cat. So yeah, there's the mailing bag. And you can see here where I've made it a bit bigger. All I've done with this is just tape all the pages inside as I've needed to. Um, I wanted this to be kind of messy but crazy. Um, each page has been done just as I've had time with what I've got on hand. Or if I've been out and about and drawing on my tablet, I've printed the pages out and added them to, to the book as well. So I'll just start flicking. Um, collage, um, tablet pages, or collage. Just a quick sketch done on a napkin in a restaurant. And ink mark play. I didn't do anything on this page. Marks with bubble wrap and peeling the paint off um, the bubble wrap here and sticking it down onto brown paper. More collage just with what I pulled out of the ring cycling bin that day. Some pages are not drawn in yet. More tablets, drawings. Ink play. sketch of our living room playing with a, a large painting that I made and then just stacking my laundry around it to make a different composition and then I just played with it a bit in Photoshop to get a different look Some process drawing that I drew with a felt pen until I went through the paper. And this I stapled a page for two and a half hours. That's what it looks like. Super fast sketches on the train on my tablet. Some tea bags I collaged onto this piece of paper. Ink and paint on grease proof paper. And on this, um, this kind of tape that they use for joining or covering, covering the gaps when you put two pieces of hardboard up on a wall and you cover the gaps with this stuff and then paint over the top. Well, I grabbed a roll of that and just started using it for ink play. It's quite fun. 
was a quick drawing of a Frank Albank painting, Al Albach painting that I saw at his exhibition. Just did it on my tablet. Um, I made a plasticine um, stamp and then stamped it in some gouache and put it on this um, dishcloth material. I was just in the kitchen when I did it and the stamp was made out of pegs. I've got it in there somewhere. Pinky handprints and um, an envelope which actually has the stamp attached to it on the other side. So I stuck the pegs in there into the plasticine and then painted it with gouache and then stamped it. That's another stamp of it there. <clears throat> Napkins. And a drawing on a leaf. More tablet drawings. Oh, it's getting hard to do this. Some of these are drawings of art that I've seen in exhibitions. This was a, a John Hoyland painting, I think. I copied. And a painting that I made, I didn't like it, so I tore it up and stuck it in the book. Along with a piece of paper, I found one of my son's names stamped all over it, so I tore those pieces up stuck it on as well. Because what the heck. And some random drawings on this tape. Just get it. haven't put anything on this big piece of paper yet so I won't bother opening it up Not so much through here now um, oh yeah some street drawings that I did And some snatches of what I was hearing on the street from people shouting or people singing and there was some music so I wrote it down oops and she's gonna attack the page and rip it beastly what else have we got I don't think there's much else here, yeah, just some, I went into a restaurant and the waitress wrote that on the, the placemat and then later on I, I just dipped my pen into all the watermarks and made this pattern. Decided to keep it in the page and then that's it. So it's all quite strongly held together with tape. There's enough space to do a bit more if I if I want to but really the idea now is to um, take the experiments from this book and do something that's a little bit more considered so I'll be doing a different one it'll be a little bit more less messy a little bit more considered I think but it'll be interesting to see how it turns out anyway I hope you liked it I'll be back with another video about my Amsterdam sketchbook which will be a little bit easier to handle, I think. Bye!